Hi guys, I hope everyone is doing fine. Welcome back to Berylicious Kitchen. Today I'll be cooking curry chicken and I'm starting by washing my chicken. In my container, I have one kilo of leg and thigh. I love to use leg and thigh as well as chicken wing to make my curry chicken. I don't feel the breast does any justice for the curry chicken. I think it's just a bony part of a chicken that just seals the deal when you're cooking curry chicken. Hence, why Jamaicans love curry chicken back because it's just something about the bone. So here I go, washing my chicken again. And you have to ensure that your chicken is clean, guys. Don't be following these crazy persons about not washing your chicken. Wash your chicken and then after you sanitize your area. So now it's time to move on to seasoning my chicken. Right here on my counter, I have my adobo, my maggi, my turmeric powder, my black pepper, my paprika, my onion powder, my complete seasoning, and in the other container, I have my curry. I also have some onion maggi cubes. Now it's time to start the seasoning process by adding some adobo. I won't be using any measurements for my seasoning. Guys. You know we as Jamaicans, we just tend to just freehandedly season stuff. And once you get used to it, we just become masters at seasoning. So, I'm adding my Maggi. I love me, myself, some Maggi, yes. I'm adding some black pepper. After the black pepper, I'll be adding just a small amount of paprika. Then, I'll also be adding some onion powder. Now, I'm adding my complete seasoning. And what's curry without turmeric powder? You have to add some turmeric powder to your curry. And then, I'll be adding my curry, a whole lot of curry. And finally, I'll be adding half of my Maggi onion cube. This onion cube is a bit salty, so I won't be adding any salt to my curry. Now it's time to coat the chicken with the lovely seasonings. You can check to see if your chicken needs a little bit more curry and you can go ahead and add some as I am doing. I love to see the lovely color of the curry all over my chicken. Now that all my chicken is coated in the seasoning, I will go ahead and cover my meat and place it in the fridge for 30 minutes so it can marinate. Here I have some Irish potato that I cut in cubes and place in water. I also have some garlic. I have three cloves of garlic here. My pimento, my ginger, my thyme, my scotch bunny pepper and half of an onion. Now I'm pouring my oil in my duchy so I can get it to the right temperature in order to start burning my curry. This is key guys, you have to burn your curry. It's a must. This is the amount of oil that I use. And now it's time to start adding your curry. And you want to make this go by really fast. You don't want your curry to get too dark in the pot, so I'm adding my ginger. My garlic. And I'm also going to be putting just a small amount of my pimento in there as well. After adding all of these, I will be using my spoon to stir the curry a little stir Now it's time for me to start adding the chicken to the curry oil. I 
at this point I have my stove on low because I didn't want my curry to start burning in the oil. Now that I add all my chicken, I'll be putting my stove on medium. I'm going to be coating the chicken in this curry oil as well. Let me make sure you do a good stir. I won't be adding any water to my chicken at this point. I will be covering it and I'll be allowing it to cook down in its own juice for five minutes. After this five minutes, I'll be using the same container that I used to season my curry chicken and I'll be putting some water in it and I'll be adding that to the chicken. Then I'll be giving it a good stir to ensure that the chicken is not stuck to the fat bottom. And then I'll be covering it for another 10 minutes and I'm going to allow it to cook on low. Now it's time to add the rest of the seasoning to the pot. I'll be adding the onion, the scotch bonnet, the thyme, and the rest of the pimentos to the chicken. My curry is looking very thick and I haven't added my Irish or any thickening agent to it. So I'll be covering my chicken for a few more minutes and then after this I'll be adding my Irish potato. You want to ensure that you add your Irish potato when the chicken is almost finished because you don't want your Irish potato to overcook and get all smushy in the gravy. You want your Irish potato to have a bite to it when you're eating your curry chicken. I'll be adding just a small amount of water to help the Irish potato to cook and also to aid in the gravy making. So guys, it's finally finished, but before I turn the stove off, let me check my eyes. Yes, it's perfect. So, I'm going to share some of this curry chicken and I'll be showing you guys how this curry chicken came out. This is it guys, I'm all finished and I'm having my curry chicken with some white rice. I have some shredded cabbage and carrots on the side with cucumber and just a few pieces of fried plantains. So, thank you for sticking with me to the end guys. Thank you. If you're drooling over this plate of food, just go on in your kitchen, turn the stove on and start cooking. I wouldn't mind, I could send you guys a plate of this food, but you can go on in your kitchen and cook some. Anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for giving me a big thumbs up. Go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Share, share, share. And big thumbs up, guys. Thanks again. Until next time. Bye.
Keep safe, stay prayed up. Ciao!